Andy. And now, may I please invite Ms. Jacko Jiang, the director of the Hong Kong ETO San Francisco office, to share a few words with us. Hi, everybody. Uh, very nice to meet you. Um, thank you, Yanni, um, and also Michelle. Um, it's my pleasure to be here today. And um, for the first time that the East Coast and the West Coast are having a joint mixer, and for many new friends on the East Coast, perhaps it's the first time you see me. So my name is Jack Zhang. I'm the director of the Hong Kong Economic and Trade Office in San Francisco. And I am so happy to be invited to speak here today. Um, I want to thank the Hong Kong Associations of Northern California and New York and all the members for playing an active role in maintaining the strong ties with Hong Kong and for uh, strengthening the Hong Kong communities here uh, in the US. I'm uh, very glad that the connection between the ETOs and the two Hong Kong associations, indeed many Hong Kong associations have remained close despite the COVID-19 pandemic. I hope that we can resume normal social activities soon as more people get vaccinated and um, as the cities reopen further. And I hope I can meet many of you in person then. As Candy mentioned, while the Hong Kong economy contracted as a whole last year is expected to resume positive growth this year with the launch of vaccination schemes in various places around the world the global economy may see relatively significant improvements in the coming year. Looking ahead, we expect Hong Kong to continue to benefit from the ongoing development of the mainland, the shift in global economic gravity from west to east. Asia will remain a global growth engine in the coming decades. Moreover, the development of the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area and the Belt and Road Initiative will also be important engines of growth. And Hong Kong is in the best position to benefit. They will open up enormous business opportunities for Hong Kong to tap. We will continue to leverage our unique advantage under one country, two systems, integrate into the national development, resolve major bottlenecks of land and talents, facilitate the development of innovation and technology and strengthen connection with the world. I am sure many of you uh, will have many questions or um, um, aspirations regarding opportunities in Hong Kong and we'll be happy to answer your questions um, if you approach us later um, after this event and anytime. So um, I would like to also introduce some of our upcoming events of our um, ETO. So similar to New York ETO, we also host topical webinars on Hong Kong related issues from time to time to keep the US audience abreast of Hong Kong's updates. Um, as you can see, um, we had uh, various webinars cooperating with um, different organizations such as the Committee of 100, um, World Trade Center LA, Bay Area Council, Economic Institute, et cetera. Uh, with ministers from Hong Kong, such as the Secretary for Innovation and Technology, Secretary for Financial Services and the Treasury, um, the um, Director General of Invest Hong Kong, as well as um, executive director, um, deputy executive director of the Trade Development Council, et cetera. And so uh, we will continue to develop uh, more webinars um, on topics that you may find interesting. And if you have any suggestions on topics that you will find interesting, uh, do not hesitate to let us know. Now, apart from more economic focused rep webinars. The three uh, ETOs in the US have also created a dedicated web page on Hong Kong's arts and culture, as Candy already mentioned. The website showcases some of Hong Kong's best arts and cultural programs, 
Examples include performances from established performing arts groups such as Hong Kong Ballet, Hong Kong Chinese Orchestra, Hong Kong Philharmonic Orchestra, as well as smaller independent artists such as Patrick Lloyd Jazz Orchestra, Sand Painting Artist uh, Hoi Chiu, and we also have conversations with artists including pioneering technology visual artist Victor Wong and 24-year-old winner of the International Landscape Photographer Award of the Year, um, Kelvin Yun. Some of you might have enjoyed these events. Now let me give a preview of a few upcoming, upcoming events on our arts and culture websites for you to check out. In late April, um, our SFETO will upload a performance and tutorial from a talented rope skipping team from Hong Kong. The joint performance Candy mentioned from young Hong Kong musicians and Hong Kong Philharmonic Orchestra will also be uploaded to the website. In May, um, SFETO will partner with Cam Fest to feature five Hong Kong films at the festival's uh, drive-in and virtual screenings. So this is a, a film festival that we sponsor in the past few years as well. This year, it will be a virtual screening as well as a drive-in experience in San Francisco's Fort Mason. So that should be fun. Um, audience will also receive a small gift uh, with Hong Kong snacks in them. So stay tuned. Um, there will also be a virtual art event on Wong Kar Wai Cinematic Legacy by the Asian Art Museum at the festival. We also um, frequently showcase exciting updates on our Facebook and Instagram pages. So please take a look at the webpage, our arts and culture webpage. As you can see um, the QR codes on the slide, as well as follow our social media to get the latest news of what we have to offer. We also welcome ideas of art and culture programs from you. Uh, if you have any um, suggestions, or things you're interested in, do not hesitate to let us know. So we always welcome all of you to approach us if you have any questions about Hong Kong and the fast opportunities it offers. I will be glad to elaborate more in the breakout sessions this evening. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you so much, Jacko. Thank you, Jekyll, and also Candy for those very en uh, energetic opening messages. And provide us with uh, the Hong Kong updates and also the upcoming programs um, happening with um, the Hong Kong Economic and Trade Office in both New York and San Francisco. 